With single model connected views, changes you make in your layout will appear instantly in your 3D view and it will also appear instantly in your frame view and the other way as well so if you make changes in your frame view it will appear in your 3D view and it will also appear in your layout view so let's have a look at that quickly so I'm going to click auto frame to get some trusses in here and you can see as soon as I do that the profile for the top which shows in blue and the ceiling planes shows in red appears in the 3D view already and you can see if I select the truss here that it will be selected in the 3D view as well as soon as I build this truss so I'm going to click on a truss and I press F9 to build the truss you can see it then appears as a full truss in your 3D view and again I can select the truss here and you see if I select the truss in the 3D view, it's selected in the layout view as well. So you can double click on this truss. So I've clicked on this truss and now it's active in the frame view as well. So first of all, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit closer in the 3D view. As you can see, and I'm now going to select my bottom cord here. And I'm going to increase the size of my bottom cord from here. So there's a 1 for 9 and you can see instantly... The sizes change in the 3D view as well. The other thing that happens as well is if you increase your web patterns, you will see that it instantly changes in your 3D view as well. And that's how the software works with the three views connected. So changes you make anywhere will appear in all other views instantly.